Hi, I'm Mark Duclos. Welcome along to our Week in Review here at thedogs.com.au and at Greyhound Racing New South Wales. All eyes were on Dubbo last Friday night as they prepared for their biggest night of the year and it didn't disappoint a huge crowd that were in attendance. The first feature event of the meeting was the Bill and Peg Miller Memorial. Trainer Jack Smith had the two favourites engaged in Irinka Molly and Miss Esme and it was the latter who took home the $10,000 winner's cheque. Ironically, she was named after Peg Miller herself. Dub 06, ready, racing. Oh, Winlock Abbey got a big shove out of the boxes from Miss Esme. Quickly up to third out wide was We Fixed Pipes. Just got turned sideways there, Ned keeping at the back with pure vision. Midfield was zipping Ontario. Behind him, Irinka Molly. Miss Esme drove up underneath Winlock Abbey, past the Lua Drivers Tower, up to third total bogle. They're followed by zipping Ontario. But Miss Esme turns with a full head of steam. She's well clear, and she's going to win the Bill and Peg Memorial. Second home in the run, Winlock Abbey, and third, maybe zipping Ontario. Jack, congratulations, winning the Bill and Peg Miller Memorial. Um, she's got plenty of ability. Yeah, she's quite smart, so she's put it together tonight, and that was good to see, yeah. Well, did you think she was a 29-4 dog at this, this time of her career? Uh, yeah, she's, she's fairly quick. <laughs> Two races later and Smith would rug up three of the eight finalists in the inaugural running of the Brother Fox final. The popular Forbes mentor made a bird of it at by game preparing the Quinella as Jungle Deuce landed the $40,000 first prize. Racing, Irinka Riley away well. There's good pace from Jungle Juice. And Jungle Juice drives up beside Irinka Riley. Caught on a limb was Bonnie keeping, zipping Kyrgios. Going forward was Casual Glance up to third and back in the field. Blazing Lisa, midnight flash off the top corner. There's a rumble in the jungle because here comes Jungle Juice. He put a length and a half on Irinka Riley. Two off then was Casual Glance. There followed zipping Kyrgios. But Jungle Juice wins the inaugural brother Fox, Jungle Juice, a big winner from Irinka Riley. Thirds close out wide, maybe zipping Kyrgios in front of Casual Glance. Hey, congratulations. That, uh, that's got to be impressive to win this first ever Brother Fox. Yeah, it's unreal, isn't it? No, he's a great dog. He's just not had no luck lately, but he made his own luck tonight. And he's just got to learn to race. He's got all this ability, but he's just got to learn what to do with it all. Well, he must have been pretty confident when he jumped into second behind the line. Yeah, well, it's hard to tell from behind the boxes, but I did see he jump well, and Riley jumped well too, so I thought, for Christ's sake, don't run into one another. A massive crowd was in attendance at Dawson Park. Greyhound Racing New South Wales CEO Tony Mestroff sung the praises of the club in promoting the night and the feature events. Yeah, they're a progressive club and they're going to get better and as you've seen tonight, the crowd will come. He's done an amazing amount of work on the track itself, the facility, but more importantly the marketing of the event. There's a great race tonight, they've come from everywhere, so it's a testament to the hard work he's done over a long period. As you said, there is a real buzz around about the race and, and Dubbo Dogs. Yeah, we've... Since we've been going to Friday and Saturday nights, we've been getting a lot of young people here, um, families and all that, and every time they come, they come back. They say they had such a great night, and that's that's what we're trying to cater for now, the families, the atmosphere, um, you know, put on stuff for the young kids, keep them interested. They go to school, so they went to the dogs, how good they are, it's, it's, it's what we need to be doing. Our next big race to be decided is the Greyhound Racing New South Wales Country Challenge Series, which kicks off on Thursday, June the 10th. Qualifiers will be run at Casino, The Gardens, Dubbo, Gunnedah, Nara, Bathurst, Taree and Wagga. Each of those races are for the best eight greyhounds nominated, with the condition being that a greyhound must have had two official race starts at that track to be eligible to be nominated. The winners of each Country Challenge heat will then progress to the final at Wentworth Park on Saturday, June the 26th, where there is a $30,000 cheque awaiting the eventual winner. There'll also be a function held that night at Wendy with tickets available to be purchased from Greyhound Racing New South Wales. OK, here's an update on the brand new circuit at Grafton. And as of today, the club is working with the council and the construction company to be able to facilitate the final handover of the venue. Now, as you can appreciate, there's plenty to go through before that takes place and the slight delay is unavoidable. The club and Greyhound Race in New South Wales will release details of trialling sessions and the dates of race meetings as soon as possible.
The fundraiser for popular Grafton participant Albert Gleeson, who has had to undergo a leg amputation recently, is now in full swing. The Magic Sprite service and the Fabregas service attracted plenty of attention. This week, we have a Cosmic Rumble service up for auction, which has been kindly donated by Steve Kavanagh. Valued at $2,750, the first bid for the Cosmic Rumble service has been lodged at $1,000. Bidding will cease at 6 p.m. this coming Saturday. And don't forget, all further bids must be made in increments of a minimum of $50. Now, to bid on the Cosmic Rumble service, just head to the Grafton Greyhound Club Facebook page, or you can call the club on 02 3713 to bid. State of Origin Rugby League is just around the corner and so too is the State of Origin Greyhound Series between New South Wales and, I don't know, some other state that's north of us. The first round of selections have been named with the final teams to be announced on June 11. The multi-format race series will be conducted at Albion Park on Thursday, June the 17th. And after an absence of more than six years, the New South Wales Greyhound of the Year Awards will return in what will be a gala function to be staged on Sunday, June the 27th. The ceremony will honour and recognise the Greyhound of the Year, as well as the leading sire, dam and trainer for the years 2014 right through to 2020. To be held at the Fullerton Hotel in Sydney, limited tickets are available to the general public and for more information, contact the team at GRNSW or you can email goty at grnsw.com.au. And that's all we have in this week's Bumper Edition, but for all the latest news, feels, form, video previews and free live racing, just head to thedogs.com.au website. Now, a couple of weeks back, Typhoon Tim was pipped by Opal Rocks for our Sportsbet Run of the Week at Dapto. But last Thursday, he ensured he received his just rewards when he set a new track record over the 297 metres, clocking 16.66. Racing. Typhoon Tim flew out straight to the top over Bow Buster, followed up by Sapphire Sandy, and last of all is Stilton Corky. The favourite Typhoon Tim went into overdrive and left the lamenting, charges away from Bow Buster, and it's all Typhoon Tim. Easy ride for favourite backers.